The art of beadworking has been an honored Cherokee tradition for hundreds of years and today takes on many different forms depending on the vision of each individual artist. Taylor Gutierrez is an up-and-coming Cherokee beadwork artist who combines unique colors and inspiration to create one-of-a-kind designs. Color-wise, I'm really just inspired by the world around me. Color can inspire us to, to feel things. I think that that's something fun about my beadwork is, is that I just let my imagination run wild. I am Taylor Gutierrez and I am a beater. Right now, Kamama beadwork is still really small. It's just me. I do everything from the creation of the art to the marketing to the packaging. Kamama is the Cherokee word for butterfly. I've always just had an affinity for them because they start as a little caterpillar and then they build their own cocoon and then they transform into something so immaculate. And throughout all of our lives, we're constantly growing and hoping to become better than we were the day before. And so, that really connects to my beadwork because it's always growing and transforming and every step of the process is beautiful. I was born in Washington State in the Pacific Northwest. I grew up a little bit on Camino Island, a little bit throughout the Skagit Valley there. That's one of the most beautiful places. I'm really grateful that I got to grow up there. I am Cherokee and I am white. So I just say mixed because there's a lot of different elements, uh, but my grandfather was Norwegian. I think growing up outside of community really impacted my family. When you grow up outside of community, I feel like there's a lack. And although my parents wanted to give that to me, it just wasn't as readily available. As someone who didn't grow up in community, I expect a lot of myself. Like, I expect to educate myself and, and learn and, and give back. There's energy between me and my work. It's not just beads that I'm working with. Uh, it's not just thread, it's not just a needle. And so I always try and put the best energy that I can into the things that I do because that'll come back around to me. When I'm designing a piece, I feel like I'm influenced a lot by nature and by old Cherokee beadwork. And so I really like to look at museum work. Um, I like to look at books on Cherokee beadwork. And it's also fun to mesh the past and the present and bring it together and create something that's modern and relative to people today. I bead hats, earrings, cuff bracelets, um, hat bands necklaces, I do powwow regalia, moccasins. And if I can get a bead onto it, like I'll probably try to beat it. <laughs> I would describe beading as if you've ever pulled weeds from a garden and then you do the whole thing and you stand and you look at your garden and it's just so satisfying, so meditative. And so looking at the finishing product is pretty much the best step <laughs> is when it's all done. <laughs> Social media is, you know, it's how I sell my work. It's how I feed myself. The Instagram beadwork community is incredible. I have received so much support uh, from fellow beaters, just amazing indigenous artists um, from all across the United States and in Canada. 
it's really a beautiful thing. I, I love to see photos of my work um, next to each other and I can go back a year from now and really see how I've grown and how my style has changed and evolved over time. It's also a way for, for me to try and do some activist work. Um, I really like to talk on my Instagram about matters that are important to me and hopefully use my platform in a positive way. Kamama Beadwork has brought me just amazing opportunities. Um, I worked in the Be Yellowtail Collective. I still can't believe it. Um, and I was featured in the New York Times. It was just a huge blessing. And I, I never thought that that would be me. This is the second year that I'll be having a summer collection where I'm having a photo shoot with models and my incredible photographer. This will kind of um, set the pace for the coming year of what people can expect to see from me. I love it. I hope that I can, you know, continue to become better at my craft. Hopefully I can make a difference with it. And I would really love to be able to teach others about beadwork and, um, or just to inspire someone to follow their heart. It's a little slow camera, so you gotta be slow. Gosh, sometimes I feel undeserving, but then I, I look at my little sisters, and can I get emotional? Um, So to see that I've been able to make them proud and be something of a voice for those young kids that grew up in really small towns that never thought they would be anything, um, that never thought they could actually really do something that they love and make a difference, hopefully, has meant the absolute world to me.